All right, so I've been looking for some ESP devices that I can um, use in my outdoor solar setup for a while, basically so I can get the temperature of it. I think I found a temperature sensor and I found an ESP8266 board, so we're gonna try it out. Today we're gonna be figuring, figuring out how to install it into Home Assistant. So uh, without further ado, let's open these things, see what we got first, and then we'll take a look in Home Assistant and figure out how to connect them. Okay, so. This first thing is a DHT11 temperature sensor. So you can see there, uh, there's some pins. Um, there's only three pins on it. And I'm guessing, I don't know, something there's the temperature sensor. Uh, and then the other item we got here is a, a ESP8266 microcontroller. And I use these things all the time. They're very useful. Um, typically, I just use it without any of the headers on it. But So this thing is a little Wi-Fi controller that just connects to... Uh, it can connect to Home Assistant if you set it up that way. They're very cheap too, so if you fry it, you're not um, wasting a lot of money, which I have done before. But yeah, so let's take a look here. I just installed onto Home Assistant. I installed the ESP Home plugin. All right, so I'm gonna have to blur a couple things out, I apologize, but so we're gonna click new device. So theoretically, uh, why am I uploading? We can say solar setup. And okay, so this is where we select our Wi-Fi name. So we're gonna say, all right. So we're gonna enter in our Wi-Fi information, ESPM, skip this step. Okay, so we're not using a Pico, so we're gonna click connect. Basically what I actually had to end up doing, um, I had to completely uninstall the ESP Home add-on uh, onto Home Assistant. So basically, when you go to ESP Home's website, oh, that's Amazon. Yeah, getting started from Home Assistant. So then you need to click install to your Home Assistant. Um, I actually had to completely uninstall it and then reinstall it once again uh, for it to actually, to pair or whatever. I don't know what the process was, but basically for it to flash the firmware. Uh, and then I had to actually plug in the device to my Raspberry Pi that runs Home Assistant. So you click install and then actually you can flash it from that Raspberry Pi. So it'll show up as a USB port uh, and you flash it that way. That ended up working for me. Oh my word. As I was saying, <laughs> that ended up working. And as you can see right here, we are online, which is fantastic. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do, well, I think you're gonna wanna do, I think on their main website, actually no right here. Yeah, so basically you just tell it pin to listen to. So let's, we're gonna add a sensor to this ESP, I think. And we're gonna go to edit, and then maybe you just add it in here. So we can say, uh, what is this called? Solar box temperature, then solar box humidity. So theoretically, we save this, we install this. Okay, so we cannot install it on pin D2, so we're just gonna say pin, I think it's GPIO4 actually. We're gonna install wirelessly. So theoretically, it's flashing the firmware to the device right now over Wi-Fi this time. So I think you only have to plug it into your Home Assistant device, the first install. Uh, and now it looks like it's actually able to do that completely wirelessly, which is cool. Okay, so next what I'm going to do, um, I have my temperature sensor. I'm going to figure out how to connect this to the uh, um, ESP board. But by the looks of things, if you look on the pins on the back, there's a plus, minus, and out. So I'm guessing plus goes to your 5 volt or something, minus goes to your ground, and then out goes to um, out goes to your D2 pin or whatever you decided on. Uh, when you configured uh, your ESP board. All right, so it's not the best soldering job, but as you can see, I just put all the pins on there just so it's easier for now. And then I'm going to connect up the pins real quick. We'll be right back. All right, and I connected the pins. So it does not matter what order you do them in as long as you match them on the both sides, but I just wired it to pin D4. So theoretically, we should be able to plug this in. We'll get the data in Home Assistant. So let's try it out. So cool, it's showing up as a device. We're gonna click configure and we're going to submit. I'm guessing it's gonna ask for that password that it gave us earlier. Oh, no, cool. Okay, so we should just be able to set this up um, as a room. I'll be right back. Wow, okay, so yeah, as soon as I stopped recording, it looks like it connected, so that's really cool. And there we go. So that was literally the easiest setup ever. All right, so here is the setup with the temperature sensor outside. As you can see, I had the sensor down in there. Uh, this is my little solar box outside. You can check out the video up in the little link there. Um, but I just basically just plugged in the USB to the charge controller. Um, and I have two ESPs. I have one for these LEDs. I got one for the temperature now. So we're just going to check this out. I'm going to close up the box just to see. 
and we're just gonna make sure it's all in home assistant but yeah thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one